Hey, you guys. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm not even going to go through the intro right now because I really... <laughs> I wasn't even planning on just jumping on really quick. I was getting ready to take my clothes off and lay down because I'm super tired. And I went to church earlier today and then kind of spent time out with the children. And so I was just kind of laying in my room, you know, and the Lord laid something on my heart to share. And I made a post in regards to like wives getting ready that a lot of you are in your marriage season, okay? You need to prepare as if you're getting married like this month. You need to prepare as if you're getting married by the end of the year because these husbands are coming home, okay? These prodigal husbands... They are coming home, you guys. Prodigal wives, if you're a husband standing for your wife, then turn it around and put it put it the other way around, okay? But right now, I'm talking to the wives, okay? Um, husbands are coming home. Like, they are coming home in this season. And I wanted to get on here and share this video while it was on my heart and my mind. Um, and I shared a post yesterday about God just dealing with our kingdom, kingdom husbands in regards to guilt and shame, right? They're trying to find the courage. They're trying to find the strength to reach out to you, to lay their heart bare, to, you know, confess their love for you, to ask for your forgiveness for perhaps how they've treated you over the months and the years, rejecting you, pushing you away, you know, whatever the case may be. And I'm not condoning any type of verbal abuse. I don't go for that. I don't play that. You know, the, the uh, if you been in contact with your um, kingdom spouse and they've been verbally abusive to you, then that's the indicator just to leave them alone and just wait, wait on the Lord. They're not ready to receive you yet. You know, you don't have to be anybody's um, punching bag, okay? Verbally, you know, you don't have to be anybody's punching bag. If they're rejecting you, if they're pushing you away, if they're saying they don't want to talk to you, if they're saying they don't want to have nothing to do with you, stop calling them, stop texting them, stop, just stop because. It's just not the right time yet, okay? You need to take it back to God and ask him to give you clarity and confirmation in regards to what season you're in and, you know, if God has really called you into this kingdom marriage journey with this person, okay? But for my wives that God is saying, hello, it is time, okay? We are coming into our marriage season. I am coming into my marriage season. God is saying, prepare like you already a wife. Get things in order. Adorn yourself. Beautify yourself, okay? Uh, begin to make preparations for your husband because he is coming home, you guys. These kingdom husbands are coming home. God is the one that is drawing their hearts back to him. And then he, in turn, is going to draw their hearts back to you. Um, these kingdom husbands are getting ready to reach back out to you, okay? They're getting ready to lay their heart bare. They're getting ready to, you know, give their lives back to the Lord and answer Answer the call on their lives that they have been running uh, from for so long. They're getting ready to surrender their hearts and their minds and their will to the Father, okay? So you guys, be in high expectation. Do not give up. Even though it does not look like what God said, God is working behind the scenes. Things are shifting, Things are shifting in the spiritual realm, okay? God is dealing with these men's heart, okay? He is dealing with our kingdom spouse's heart, okay? And they're at the end of the road. They're coming to the end of themselves. We all have to come to the end of ourselves, okay? For those of you who used to be prodigal daughters or prodigal sons, and you know what it is, okay? When you were living in sin, when you were living a lifestyle that was contrary to the will of God, you know what that looks like running from God, running from God's will. I know what it looks like when I was running from God's will for my life, okay? But now I'm fully surrendered to God's will. Like, God, whatever you want to do in my life, whatever you want to do through my life, let your will be done, okay? I am excited about marriage. There was a season in my life where I wasn't even interested in marriage. I never even consider myself to be the marriage type. You know, I didn't want to be, you know, tied down to just one man, okay? This is my old mentality, you know. I didn't know what 
what it was to be a wife. I didn't know the first thing about being a wife, right? I was content with being somebody's girlfriend or situationship, but not anymore, okay? I'm nobody's girlfriend. I'm nobody's situationship, okay? I am somebody's wife, and I am the wife of the man that God has called me to be with. God is saying, have faith. Increase faith faith is required in this season. God is even saying, if you have faith like a mustard seed, okay, you can speak to that mountain and tell it to move, and it is going to move out of the way, okay? God is saying, even if your faith is like the faith of a mustard seed, that is enough for God to move. God wants to increase your faith. He has given us all a certain measure of faith, okay? And God is going to use that faith, okay? And he's going to begin to turn your circumstances completely around you guys. Listen to what I'm saying. God is getting ready to blow some of your minds. Like he's about to blow your mind. He's about to blow your mind. Like say it. God is about to blow my mind. Like I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, God, blow my mind. Like, I want you to blow my mind. I want to be, you know, just like in complete awe of your glory and your majesty and your power. Let God write your love story, you guys. Stop trying to interfere with what God is already doing. He has it already worked out. I don't care how long you've been waiting for this marriage promise. God has an appointed time. And when that time comes up, he's going to make it happen. And some of you are at the front of the line. Like some of you at the sound of my voice, you are at the front of the line. Okay. And I mentioned this in my post that I just posted, but it just wasn't enough. Like I had to get on here and I need you guys to see me and I need you guys to hear me. Some of you are in your marriage season. Begin to rejoice. Begin to receive it. Begin to claim it. Begin to decree and declare. This is my marriage season, okay? The delay is over. The delay has been canceled in Jesus' name. God is bringing your husbands back to you. You don't have to do anything but rest in the Lord. Whatever specific instructions God has has given you, do what he's asked you to do, and then sit back and wait. Sit back and wait. Be still and know that he is God, you guys. God is working behind the scene. And I get so excited because I'm like, thank you, God, for allowing me, for allowing me to be able to speak in regards to these kingdom marriages. Thank you for using me. Thank you for being willing to use me. I'm not perfect. My slate is not clean. I have a rap sheet of things that I've done in my past. But praise be to God. Thank God for Jesus that everything in my past is covered by the blood of Jesus. And God does not look at our past. He does not count our mistakes and failures. He does not keep records of our wrongdoings. He still loves us and he has a plan and he has a purpose for our lives. And he has, if he has called you, if he has called you into this kingdom marriage, he is faithful to bring it into full manifestation. You guys get ready because a lot of you are are I just about hit my door. <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> okay, somebody just hit my car. Um BRB. Okay, guys, I'm back. Honey, the devil's busy. Somebody just hit my car door. But anyways, you guys this is your season. This is your season. Receive it, claim it, decree and declare it. You are no longer at the back of the line. You are at the front of the line, you guys. God is doing something big in this season for kingdom marriages. He's working even right now.
And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. Be excited about it. Be in high expectations, no matter what it looks like. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.